Welcome to Tone More Sunday Night. I'm Carrie. That's Jared. What's and happening? this is Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We got we uh, we got Pepper here tonight. He so. got the peps tonight, and yep. he likes to be wherever the people are. <laughs> yep. He's gonna hang out and be a good boy tonight, hopefully. Yes. Most likely. <laughs> That's why he's up high, because if he was down low, it would not be okay. <laughs> Keeps driving everyone nuts. <laughs> I had to get back to, I lost my YouTube. Where'd it go? I did that, sorry. You did it. I was, I picked up your phone thinking it was mine, so I shut everything down. I just Where do I keep out. YouTube? It's yeah. in this folder. I reorganized my phone, and I'm like, where are all my apps? Yeah. <laughs> New phones are you fun. should be, where's the live notification? There you Here are. Here we are. I found it. And there's an ad. Gotta get through the ad. Sweet, I can make like a dollar. <laughs> Gotta watch Three, the whole ad so two, I get to make money. What? No. Skip. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. And everybody is okay. Yeah. My poor dog had a tick on him. Yep. We <clears> found <throat> it yesterday. I, well, actually, I found it earlier in the week and I was like, oh, it's just a little skin tag. It's just a little skin tag. Yep. Like, we'll make an appointment, we'll get that removed, and then Jared looked at it a little more closely, and he was like, yeah, that's a, that's, that's a tick. That's a tick. So I got my, I, I got these, like, plier thingies yeah. out. We pulled it out of them, and then we had to dig the head out and clean it up and everything. Fun times. Yeah, but he seems to be oh. fine. We're going to take him in to get tested. Yeah, they say that the Lyme disease won't show up in, like, the blood work or whatever for six weeks. So we made an appointment for six weeks out, and we'll get him tested and yeah. see if he's okay. But I feel, <clears throat> I feel like the worst mom in the world. The worst dog mom. Well, it's it's a rare thing, so you never you don't know. And it's your first yeah. time ever re encountering that, yeah. you know. So, the only reason why I knew is because I watch all those, you know, those <laughs> they come across my feed on YouTube and Facebook sometimes with the the poor dog they yes. find on the side of the road covered in ticks, and I just like that looks like one of those things. So, yeah, I don't know why I get hammered with those things. Yeah. <laughs> It's crazy. I watched one, and they're like, oh, yeah. so you like being depressed? All right, here you go. Here's some more. Yeah. Uh, Steve-O, <clears throat> that's exactly what the vet said. He said ticks will be bad this year yep. because of the mild winter. That's, I mean, it was 70 degrees on Monday. It's 32 or 36 today, but, yep. yeah, we've had a very mild winter. and. Yep, very mild. So. Yeah. I didn't miss one day this winter. I don't, I, wait, there was one day where it was too cold, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty rare, though. Yeah. But I feel super bad. Yeah, well, he seems to be fine so far, so we'll keep our eye on him. <clears throat> He's my buddy. <laughs> he loves coming over here. <laughs> he gets spoiled. Super yeah. spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> he gets, like, whole hamburgers to himself over yep. here. <laughs> yep. And I go to the store and get myself a... Yeah, go like the drive through We forgot the night, though. I was so mad at myself. I'm like, why didn't we get him one for him? Because he's begging for ours. I'm like, talk on it. <laughs> All right, well, let me say hi. We've got Jeff Hirschberg. Hey, Jeff, what's happening, man? He says, just finished up playing through the new Tonex, Mr. Scary Mod Pack. <clears throat> you outdid yourself. Absolute razor's Thank you. edge. Thick as a brick tone. Nice. Thanks, Wait. man. Razor's edge, but thick as a brick. Yeah, that's what you want in guitar tone. <laughs> thick and nasty and got that nice aggressive cut to it. So, yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate that. And uh, you're right. They they just came out. They came out really good. Yeah. You know, couldn't be happier. Excellent. <coughs> Plus, says, go, Carrie and Jared. Tonex or Kemper? That's easy. Quad court tux. <laughs> What's Still up, best man? Still in class. Spent the weekend getting uh, great captures from the Eggnator or McGeddon. 606 nice. GC and KT77 versions done so far. Sweet, man. Yeah, the quad is very good, you yeah. know. Happy Sunday, Steve-O. Hey, what's up, Steve-O? Happy Sunday. Darkness is here. Dean, what's happening? Braxel is here. Oh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, yeah, happy St. <laughs> Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Forgot about that. My bad. 
Well, yeah. my green is on my finger. I've got a little jade ring. <laughs> yeah, I got some money in my pocket. So, and, <laughs> and this green, green bottle. Water. I got it. This green spell of green. S spell whatever the hell this yeah. crap is. Bubbly water. Yeah, I prefer the. Yeah. What do I prefer? The Perrier, but they're out. Mm -hmm. Whatever. So I'll slum it with this crap. <laughs> <laughs> Braxel wants to know if everybody <clears throat> had a good lunch earlier. Oh yeah, <laughs> we did. It was yep. good. We sure did. Chris Nash, what's up, everybody? What's up, Chris? How you doing, man? I haven't seen you in a bit. Good seeing you. Let's see. Braxel, anyone see the Joe Bonamassa River video with the Hendrix rig? No, I didn't see that. That guy's such Me a great either. player, man. <laughs> what a beast of a player he is. Vince Salutari is here. Vince, what's happening, man? Hey. <clears throat> Acoustic is here. Hey, haven't seen you in a while either. Good to yeah. see you, man. And let's see. Seymour Butts is back. Seymour Butts. Says, what's hi, happening? Hi, everybody. I have a question about Mr. Scary Mod. Do you think it'll work with the Mini Rectifier 25? Ooh, that's a good question. <clears throat> I would ask Dave. Uh, you know, you can. I think you can contact him through email. He's very good at getting back with you. Um, ugh, excuse me. There's probably a, a contact somewhere on the website. Um, and I think maybe on his website there's a list of uh, amps that his mods work with and which mods he suggests for each amp. So um, you might want to check that out. I wish I knew. If I did, I'd tell you. Um, but, uh, yeah, I would look into that. I'm definitely going to be teaming up with him uh, as soon as he gets stocked up again with some more mods. And I want to try out some mods on different amps and just have some fun doing a, do a series <laughs> with it, you know. Jay Dubs is here. Said happy What's happening? Day. Right back at you. Allison. Daniel Gooner. What a beautiful doggy. <laughs> he sure is. He is, man. He he's he literally is the best dog. He's <laughs> he's so happy all the time. It's and funny because he's a Ponchi and typically they're a little moody and yeah. bratty. <laughs> But he's he just happy. Thing. So he does get growly with other people. Like, yeah, um, he's fine around them. But if so, um, someone that he doesn't know approaches, he gets a little growly. Mm -hmm. Never bit anybody, but he he looks super cute. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might have muted your mic. Did I? Yeah. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe Peppy did it because it's in the this packet. Yeah. Let me check it. How's that? Is that better? No. Nope. Is it just dead? No, it's not dead. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's off. Well, the lights are on. I, is it? <coughs> there you go. Does that sound better? Yep, there you ah. go. <laughs> That's why I wear these, so I can keep track of what's going on. Yeah, all of a sudden your that. voice dropped, and I'm like, what happened to you? <coughs> Pepper. <laughs> yeah, Peppy does. Pepper's it. over there turning stuff off. <laughs> Old turd. Mike Nash says bleh. <laughs> Not sure what bleh he's saying, but maybe it's just the yucky weather. Yeah, maybe. Tyler James is here. He says, guess what? I got my Soldano Astro. It's the purple one. It's been absolutely mind-blowing. I also got the Mud Killer and the Mini Sport and 33 Boost pedal. Oh, nice, man. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, your mic is dead. That's oh, what yeah, happened to it. Yep. Uh, one second. Can I? Can it be used while we're charging? Yeah. yeah. Oh, just put it behind you. Yeah. Uh, if it's long enough, I don't think it is. Um, hang on. Yeah, undo it. Yep. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be long enough. <coughs> maybe. Maybe not. This side. I found it. <laughs> Okay. In a precarious position here. Um, I don't know if it's on. I can see the light, but can you hear me in your ears? I can hear you, but not like your mic. Your my mic's picking you up. Uh oh. Yeah. Is it blinking? It's like not it's blinking. on. It's but the blue lights are on. <clears throat> it is blinking. Okay, that means it's sorry charging. It's okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead and turn it back on and see what we have. Live TV, folks. Worst case scenario, it'll charge up in a minute here. Okay, how's that? That's better. Okay. Now All there's right. two lights. One is blinking. 
All right, so let's just see what happens. <coughs> Worst case scenario, I'll just play and we'll let it charge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. The metal god, Jared, can you demo the Boss Katana uh, Go Headphones amp? Boss Katana Go Headphones? I didn't even know they made one. I'll, I'll look into it. I can check with Motor City and see if they have them. Absolutely. I, I liked the Katana when I had it on here. I thought it was pretty cool. It was better than I thought it would be, that's for sure. And I didn't even do a deep dive. I just dialed in a quick tone and did my thing with it. And I was like, all right, this thing's pretty cool. Chris Gonzalez, hope I didn't miss anything. Not much, hey. just some uh, dead mics. And <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Chris? You yeah, didn't miss much. We're just saying hello. And, you know, I haven't uh, played yet, but uh, I will. says, which sounds better, the Tone X or the QC Mr. Scary Mod preset pack? I have both units. <clears throat> Actually, I also have a Kemper that Jared wants to toss out in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It's it's a tough uh, thing between the two. I think they both do a great job in profiling. You know, um, that really is a tough thing to choose from. Uh, I think they came out great on both units. You get more with the Quad Cortex, uh, more, more, you know, captures because they don't take as long, you know, with the... With the um, Tonex, I was down here for hours doing those, so it just takes forever. Uh, but with the Quad Cortex, I could do a whole pack in less than two hours, and it's, you know, they're, oops, they're done. I just threw my pick <laughs> in celebration. Yeah, they're they're done. So, uh, yeah, uh, but I think they both do a great job. So, I mean, if you have both units, I mean, maybe if you want more bang for your buck, go for the QC because you get, you know, more of them in that pack. So, you know, it's, I think it's like five bucks more for that pack, but money well spent. Metal God is here. Says, Jared, have you watched Leon Todd's YouTube channel? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's an amazing player. He's an amazing, amazing player. Really, really good. Yeah, he's he's Steve got a great channel. Says, drink until you're Irish. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, man. Drink until you're Irish. Rip Wraith, what's up? How are you? Hey, what's happening? CS is here. What's up, Chris? Uh, Stephen McKee says, Loving the Tonex Astro Spawn Purple Nightmare Pack. Gonna pull the trigger on the Mr. Scary Pack this evening. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate that. Sorry if I seem distracted. We got all kinds of battery problems tonight. <laughs> now this thing, the iPad's dying. Where's my charger for it? I have a charger down here for it, and I can't freaking find it. Is it hanging out of the top one? Nope. Maybe I brought it upstairs for some dumb reason. Oh. <laughs> Dane wanted to know if we ever checked out the new priest stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. I listened to it the other night at work. I was like, holy crap. Dude, that album could have easily <clears throat> come out after um, uh, Defenders. I mean, it's that, in that vein of music that they did. It's that classic, awesome priest. It's heavy, and oh my gosh! I mean, I just thought it was amazing. The production's awesome on it too, but they they sound killer. I still can't believe Rob Helford is hitting those notes the way that he is. I mean, it's it's absolutely insane the way that dude's hitting those notes still. I'm gonna grab uh, the charger for the iPad because that thing's about to die and okay. I need it for backing ba backing tracks tonight. No problem. So, man, we're having all kinds of <laughs> fun little things fun, tonight. You can still hear me though, right? Yeah, oh, I, can, I can hear you. Okay, yep. Thomas uh, says, <clears throat> Thomas Ribka does paired Tone X with the Line 6 effects and it is amazing and is amazing combinations. Oh, nice. Yeah, that is a really good uh, combo, man. The, uh, the Tonex, I have it paired with the HX effects myself, and uh, it sounds killer. I freaking love it. Def definitely worth every penny. Here's the charger. I don't think I hear him talking anymore. I don't have in-ears in, so I don't know if he's talking or not. Nope, I'm done. <laughs> the Metal God uh, says, Jared, have you played the Randall Satan? Uh, no, I haven't, but I want to. That's one amp that um, I've always been curious about. Do they have it up at Motor City? No. No. You can't find those in the wild very, uh, very often. Yeah, they're kind of rare. CS says, email is at Legendary Tones, and same with list of amps the Mr. Scary Mod will work. I emailed him just to make sure it would work with my JCM2000. Oh, cool. Thank you. 
Yeah, he's great. He's great at getting back with people, too. Flux says, Jared, I replaced the fuses. Uh, my Ignator Armageddon, and it absolutely thunders. 6L6GC sounds great in it, but KT77 sound huge and thunderous. Nice. Such an underrated amp had a real sleeper. That's the Armageddon, he said? Mm, 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 mm. Yep. Yeah, I've heard good things about that amp. I heard it's a sleeper. Sleeper amp, underrated. The metal god, Jared, can you shoot out the Freedman with the angle? The Freedman uh, JEL with the Ingle Savage? Yeah, I, I mean, I can. Not Obviously not right now, but I, I can. Yeah, they're, they're both great amps, man. Completely different amps, but uh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's so cute, Jim Simmons. He says you should get a white dog and name him or her Salt, and then you'd have Salt, <laughs> salt and Pepper. And pepper. <laughs> that is really cute. <laughs> that would be funny. Salt and Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to get the white dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. Let's see. Dory McMahon can hear you well. Oh, good. <laughs> Hi, Dory. Good. <laughs> What's happening? J Dubs, my QC stays in my studio. Do you think the Tone X is uh, adequate enough for a fly rig and playing live shows? Oh yeah, absolutely. Just use it with like an effects you know, uh, multi-effects pedal like I'm doing tonight with the HX effects. I mean, the only effect it has is a little bit of compression, uh, which I never use on it, and uh, it has some reverb, which I also never use. So you want to pair it up with an effects unit. But, yeah, it's it's great. I mean, the captures the captures come out really good on the Tone X. They really do. It's, it's more, uh, what do you call that, uh, consistent than the Kemper, that's for sure. Very much more consistent. You know, I wanted to release a Kemper pack so bad of the Badlander after I modded it, and it just didn't work out. But with the Tone X, first try, perfect. Quad Cortex, first try, perfect, you know. So I didn't have to monkey around with anything. I just ran them, and I was done, you know. So uh, the Tone X definitely takes longer to do the profiling process than the QC, but it's, it's very accurate and reliable. So I don't mind working with it at all. It's worth the wait. Sean Hockey says, hey, Tone Wars, your videos have absolutely been killing. Uh, your channel is criminally unsubscribed, in my opinion, brother. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate that. I, I you know, it, I, I'm scratching my head right now. Um, <laughs> I scratch my head sometimes, and it's not an ego thing. It's just like, why don't I have more subscribers? It's weird, but I don't know. It's just one of those things. Uh, definitely trying to remedy that, but uh, we'll see. Hopefully it keeps growing. You know, that's that's all I can hope for. Just keep growing. Let's see. Uh, Braxel, I told you, Jared, that the Priest new album uh, was excellent. Oh, it's excellent. It's very, very good. Love it. Yep, and I still can't believe Rob's hitting those notes. I mean, it's like, he sounds like he did in the 80s. Like, what? I just can't believe he's doing um, it. Dean said that. He says, some speculate studio magic with Rob. Know what? I don't care. He's <laughs> awesome on the Invincible Shield video. What sticks out to me is the drummer doesn't look like he's trying. I mean, in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's studio magic or not, but Rob, Rob, man, he sounds amazing on that album. I mean, I don't know how much studio magic you can do. I mean, the tone is still there. I mean, yeah, they pitch correct everything nowadays, but there's no way they're adjusting his pitch five steps up or something that would be so obvious so it would sound like a computer it'd sound like a robot yeah right? yeah it'd sound all roboty so i mean mm -hmm. i don't know it the proof's in the pudding when you see him live that's how you really know Maxwell said i had to learn jp bloodstone today all i got left is the solos to finish learning the intro guitar was kind of tricky to learn but got it done yeah they got some interesting uh riffs man yeah i, I love uh that album that whole album was so good yeah, Bloodstone's a great song. Uh, the Metal God says, Jared, you've said you don't care for Fishman pickups. What are your thoughts on EMG pickups? Uh, I only, I've only played one or two guitars with those, and I, I didn't play them long enough to really have a big opinion. I think, what was the last guitar that I demoed down here that had some EMGs, like Actives in it, and I thought they were okay. Um, I guess my opinion of... Uh, you know, uh, active pickups as a whole is they just have too much say over the voicing of the guitar, and there's always an inherent thing with them. 
So if you like that inherent thing that they do, then you'll like them. If you don't, then you'll hate them. They're very, you know, one way or the other. You know, there's, you know, you either love them or you hate them. I just like the pickups that I use in my guitars because they're just, they do a great job and they don't have an inherent thing about them. They just project the sound the way I like them to and I'm happy with it, you know. So I guess that's why I just stick with the, get with the ones that I use. <clears throat> Raxel says, Jared, I really think you should get more camera angles or different areas to film. Maybe that'll help for more views. Not sure, just an idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely working on that. I got a part over there I'm going to start um, using to, to film at. Yeah. A wrap up nook. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm, I'm still working on all that stuff. Careful, but sitting on my. Oh, am I? There we go. You're good okay. now. Yeah, it's. Uh, it, I think the whole views thing is. I don't do a lot of clickbait, and uh, sometimes that helps get views. It, it does. You know, I don't, well, I don't do any clickbait. I mean, I try to make my thumbnails as catchy as I can make them, but I, I deliver on what's in the thumbnails. So um, a lot of, there's, there's, there are channels that, you know, they just have really super clickbaity thumbnails. And you know what? At this point, I almost don't blame them because, like, it's a very competitive world out there when it comes to getting views on your videos and getting attention in, on YouTube. Like 10 years ago, there was a handful of guitar channels on YouTube and I mean, it was easy for you know, to get attention. But now, I mean, you're literally, like you ever watch the stock market, all the guys yelling? That's what I feel like all of us YouTubers <laughs> are like, ah, sell, sell. You know, we're just out there just, hey, look at me, you know? and. I get it. It's it's tough, man, and uh, I'm trying to find my space in it. And I you still, know. you just need to be yourself. Yeah. Be yourself. Be honest and straightforward. You know, you don't. You have gimmicks, but you don't need the gimmicks. You yeah. play well. You have funny yeah. characters. <laughs> I don't you use have, them that much, you though. You <laughs> have good opinions, <laughs> and you have a cute widow doggy. Yeah, maybe I should use Pepper. Yeah. Pepper should be here more often. He's like, I hear you talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. Fox says EMG 81X rules in the bridge position. Yeah, I've heard good things about the EMGs. I've heard good and bad. You know, it really depends on, you know, what you like. I got all uh, these picks over <laughs> here. Dean Harkness, ah, the Hetfield EMGs are voiced to sound more passive if you like those. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Monkey Wrench, cigar smoking tick backed out of a doggy skin. You should have used a cigar to burn the ticks, buck. They don't like the heat. They also breathe out, breathe out of their butts, so grease will stop it. Oh, interesting. I read somewhere that you put salt on it, and they back out too. So hmm. we we did. He threw a whole yeah, put whole some salt on it, bunch of salt on it, and then just yeah. pulled it out with yeah. the yeah. Pliers. I just pulled it out with the pliers. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> thing. Aww. I just wanted to kill it. I feel so bad. <laughs> Oh, but good to know, although yeah. I probably wouldn't want to burn my dog. <laughs> yeah. I'd be so <laughs> scared <laughs> that I'd actually burn the dog. Yeah. Uh, the Metal Guide, that snake by ESP has EMGs. That's what it was. Thank you. That's what the, what the guitar was that I had the EMGs on it. Okay, I remember now. Thank you. I was like, what guitar was it? Yeah, that's what it was. I should have known. It's Hetfield's guitar. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Braxel uh, says, remember going to see Priest at the Long Beach Arena in the U.S. Festival in 1982 and 83. And they, they've always been such a great band. Amazing band. <laughs> J-Dub says, Jared is using a butt mic. <laughs> I sat on my mic. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fart. <laughs> Don't fart. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Jim it was Simmons her. Says, Jared, did you hear the new band, Whom Gods Destroy? No. With I, Bumblefoot. It sounds very good to me. No, I haven't heard that. I'll have to look that up. The Metal Gods said they saw Priest with Pantera in 1990. Wow. I yeah, they've been around freshman for... Freshman in high school. They're, they've been around for a long freaking time, or man. Or sophomore. I was a sophomore. Yeah. <laughs> high school. Yeah. I, high went, school I went to high school for one year. <laughs> yeah, Braxel says, I tried active EMG pickup in the late 80s. Uh, sorry, I just could not get into them. To me, they, to me, they do not sound organic. I'd much rather have the real fuel. 
Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at, but everybody likes different stuff, you know. I've had friends come over, and I love EMGs, and then a year later, they're like, yeah, I just, I can't deal with these anymore. I went back to uh, passives, and it's like, well, which one is it? <laughs> yeah, it's that thing, you know, just like with our amps and our pedals and our guitars, we go through stuff like crazy. It's just the way it is. Flux says the EMG X series pickups make the original EMGs obsolete, in my opinion. Don't bother with the originals. The X series has more headroom. I have EMG 81Xs in all my main guitars. Bridge position. Try one. Oh, yeah. One of these days, I just might. Tyler James says, I forgot to say I also tried the Tone X into the effects loop of the Astro. Mm. It sounds absolutely fantastic. I'm selling my Seymour Duncan Power Stage 200 ASAP. Oh, nice, man. I'll tell you, the... There's just nothing better than tube power when it comes to running your modelers, man. I'm glad you had a chance to finally try that out. I mean, it it does it does make a huge difference, you know. Um, I've shot out all kinds of different power amps down here over the years, and the tube ones are always better. Every single time, they're better. So, yeah, that, I'm glad you figured it out, man. Yeah, the Seymour Duncan power stage is not my thing. It just it's kind of anemic. You know, and they clip easily too. So I'm glad you figured that out. Mike Nash says, I like my EMGs better over the right boost pedal. It works better with uh, loose, flubby stuff. Oh, yeah. They do help with that, that's for sure. Uh, Jonathan McCullough says, Forgive me for ask. Oop, almost. It, almost blocked you. Sorry. <laughs> Just by accident. <laughs> by accident. Forgive me for asking what may sound like a stupid question. Block. <laughs> <laughs> when you put your thumb on there, a thing pops up, and you're like, no, I didn't want to do that. Is it possible to capture rack tones with a Kemper? Is it possible to capture what? Rack tones with a Kemper. Yeah, you should be able to do that. Yeah. Yeah. No questions, a stupid question. No, we like them all. Uh, let's see. CS, so yes, I'm torn with EMGs. It depends on the amp for me. They do have a wider range these days to choose from, though. Yeah. Yeah, it really does depend. Like, I noticed when I had the um, Fishman's, there were certain amps that they worked better with. Like, it, But when I played them through my Badlander before I modded it, I was like, oh, God, no. Hell no. Not with this amp. But on other amps, they sounded better, but I, they still didn't work for me, you know? Metal God asked if you've tried the Axe FM9. FM9. No, I haven't. I want to do an Axe FX video on the on the channel, though. It's definitely something I want to do. Broxel says, I respect the EMG pickup players. Sorry, it's not for me. I am yeah. glad they have many options for players. We all like different stuff, man. That's why there's different stuff out there, and I love it. <laughs> Flux says, my EMG 81Xs don't sound sterile, but sound thick and full. New tech equals better tone on this one. There you go. A lot of guys don't like EMG uh, safer, or after trying the originals. I understand. Gotcha. X series was a huge improvement. Oh, nice. Nice. Riff Wraith says, I'm using the ISP Stealth Ultralight as my power amp for the Tone X. Going to pick up a KSR PA50 at the same at some point. Oh, yeah. The, I did like the ISP one. I thought that was one of the better um, solid state power amps out there. Buck makes uh, great stuff, man. He does a great job on mm -hmm. the stuff. Right. But the PA50 is definitely something I would recommend. You want me to play something? Yeah, we are caught up. All right. One second here. Let me play a few riffs, and I'll do a couple swungs for you. See if I can get through them without screwing them up too bad. Here we go, guys.
Okay, sorry about the connection issues, guys. I don't know. I bought a new router. You know, it happens. Are you on router, the Wi-Fi? Router, modem, what is I bought the, all the new all of stuff. The things. Yeah, I bought yeah. it all. So. Yeah, Flux is like, it's working for me, but yeah, it's, it's not working for a couple other people. Yeah, sometimes that happens. It might be on your end. I, I know we had one part where it turned red here, but uh, I'm watching the monitor. I can see everything. So if you lose sound, that's something on your end. Because I'm here, I'm seeing everything here. It should be fine, but uh, yeah, it's weird, very weird. <laughs> Jonathan McCullough says you may want to dip Jared's fingers in an ice bucket after this. <laughs> I'm sure I can see smoke coming out of that board. Can we play that? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's nice. I got this one song that I can't play tonight called Galactic Space Zombies. That one. When I'm done, my hand feels like I pounded it with a friggin' sledgehammer. I mean, it is freaking done after that. You know, I tried to warm up with that one. I'm like, nope, I have to play that one probably four or five times a day. And mm. if I don't, I, I can't play it live. That song is so hard. And building up my endurance for that is like, it's impossible. <laughs> it's so hard. Dean Harkness says, yeah, you got to change the signal chain, or at least I did when going passive, but not dealing with batteries. It's nice. Oh, I know. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it is Even nice. Wheel Hart says, is the Tonex going to have an update with the capture feature? Um, well, that would be nice. I mean, right now I'm using uh, the my computer to, and the software for Tonex to do the captures with, um, not the pedal. The pedal is just the carrier of the captures, but... Um, and in order to do the, the captures with Tonex, I mean, you have to have a really updated computer. You have to have a newer computer that's got a lot of, uh, a lot of juice. Um, otherwise, they'll take forever to render. Um, right now, they're taking about 40 minutes to render, where my old computer, it was five hours. <laughs> Seriously, five hours to render a capture. And I was like, dude, I don't think so. Not um, enough time in the day for that. Yeah, that was awful. So... Riff Wraith wants to know what wireless system you're using. Um, oh, for tonight, I'm using, uh, these are Lakato, L-E-K-A-T-O, and you can get them for like 50-some dollars on uh, Amazon, and these things are awesome. These things are seriously amazing. As long as they're wireless. charged. <laughs> What's that? As long as they're charged. Yeah, as long as they're charged, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they're they're yeah, it, and I did charge those, so these they should be good tonight. You get about several hours on them. Um, the wireless I use when I'm playing through my amps is my Sure, uh, but these Lakatos are freaking insane. They're really good wirelesses. Steve O says, thinking of grabbing a Tone X. I don't see an effects loop in this thing, so adding a delay pedal uh, to come after the amp and cab sim still sounds good though. Oh yeah, so basically it it has an in and an out, so you can you know, run your effects out of, on the out of it and then run those into, you know, your PA or, or whatever. So that's how you hook it up. But I would recommend just getting a multi-effects unit. I mean, you can get them for cheap now. I mean, uh, I think uh, Ampero makes one really cheap. I mean, you just need a few things and hook up to it. And it's it sounds amazing. Like, I'm serious. Like, I'm down here enjoying the crap out of playing these captures right now. They sound incredible. Uh, Tyler James says, Jared, I hope you know how much we all value your opinion. Over the past year or two, I got the Tonex and the Astro based on your opinion and consistency of answering questions. Tone Wars for life. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> and I value you guys as well. Seriously, it means the world to me when um, I see you guys in the comment section and I see you guys watching the videos. And obviously, it means the world to us when we're down here live and you guys are hanging out with us. It really does mean a lot to us. And... It doesn't, uh, I never take it for granted. I really don't. I look forward to coming down here on Sunday nights and hanging out with you guys. We really do. And I'll never forget that, ever. I'll never take it for granted. So thank you so much. Let's see. Uh, Sal uh, Ambergia says, can you have the PV6505 1992 edition on your channel? <laughs> um, in fact, I think I did. You might want to do a search. I'm pretty sure. Just type in Tone Wars mm -hmm. and then the name of the amp. And if I remember correctly, Motor City Guitar let me borrow one so I could demo yeah. it on here. So I'm pretty sure I did do that. Yeah, thanks, thanks for, for asking. Yeah. yeah. J-Dubs, do you remember David T. Ch Chistain? Chistain? 
Sometimes you're playing and writing reminds me of a little of him. Great stuff, man. Keep doing that voodoo that you do. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, David who? Chastain. Oop. Chastain. Chastain. Uh, doesn't ring a bell. I'll have to look him up. Thank you. I'll uh, screenshot it. There you go. Well, let's see. Jeff Hirschberg, Jared's uh, string muting is exceptional. That amount of gain he can still play crystal clear. Damn, that's impressive. <laughs> Thank you. I like to, I like to ride the lightning. <laughs> I like having things a little out of control. I am I come from the Eddie Van Halen <laughs> school of thought when it comes to all that stuff. Dory says solar flares cause uh, interference. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's possible. Mm, let's see. Braxel, do you think these videos that claim they listened to Led Zepp for for the first time are real? I cannot imagine people have not heard of it. I know, it's weird. Like, <laughs> how have you not heard that? It's it, it's like someone, like me doing a reaction video. I, Van Halen jumped for the first time. Like, oh, come <laughs> on. Get out of here. <laughs> you know what, though? They're kid. Like, my parents wouldn't have listened to... Yeah, well, I probably heard of them. They're just super religious people. So. Yeah, and they owe. And they yes, they are. Old. Yeah, so that that could be part of it. That you know what? That would be a funny YouTube series, like getting a bunch of old biddies on the show and going, "Hey, you want to hear some Slayer?" <laughs> <laughs> getting reactions. Yeah, from they, different generation. Yeah, and they have to <laughs> they have to drink a beer and listen to Slayer. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, well, that's some, that's some pretty crazy sounding music there. My mom wouldn't even stay in the same room. <laughs> She'd grab her Bible and. I don't think I can out. jive to that. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious, though. Get like five old biddies and sit them at a table, put some headphones on them, and go, yeah, let's check out Rain and Blood. Here we go. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> Alexander says no more QC question uh, mark. He still uses. Oh, it. I still yeah. use it. I was. I think I used it last week. I love the quad cortex. I freaking absolutely yeah. love that thing. Yeah, I've been using a lot of digital stuff lately because um, she doesn't like the loud amps. Because <laughs> Carrie. Yeah, because of her. <laughs> Blame her. Um, but I gotta adjust everything down here to get the volumes down so it's more comfortable. Because when I when I'm, when I'm using yeah. amps, it's said. loud. It is. It's, it's on. It's unnecessarily. Yeah. I realize amps are loud, but yeah. it's unnecessarily loud. It's pretty. I don't. I don't mind it, but she does. It's like 96 decibels down here when I'm using amps. So it's. Pretty and I'm loud. sitting. Right in front of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> and we both have in ears in, but for some reason, <laughs> I mean, we couldn't use them tonight because of this guy. Yeah. He'd be freaked out. No earphones for you. <laughs> it would be kind of funny though, <laughs> seeing him with earphones on. <laughs> Alexander says I borrowed a Kemper and it puts my FM9 to shame tone wise. There, there's some great stuff that Kemper does. There really is. And when Kemper profiles an amp that it agrees with, it does a killer job. Uh, it's just, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have a consistency with all the amps, though. That's the problem with it. They need to fix that. Uh, Thomas says, I heard some death influences in your riffage. Great playing. Thank you. Some who? You got some death influences in death? there. Death? Death. Oh, death. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Spent all those years playing on the same ticket with a death metal band. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you got to find some life, man. <laughs> no you got to find death. some life. Exactly. Joshy J is here. What's hey, up? what's happening, man? Flux says, Jared, have you updated your quad cortex and quad, uh, let's see, quad cortex and cortex control to the latest versions? I believe so. I urge you to do them because they are incredibly stable, especially for making captures with cortex control. Dude, I love cor I love corgis and I love cortex control. <laughs> corgis are cool. Yeah, it's nice to sit at my desk and run the captures with my in-ears in and check the tones and be like, oh, yeah, these sound great, turn off my in-ears. And then while they're running, I can actually label everything. Yeah. And when it's done, I'm done labeling, next, oh. you know? It's such a great feature, it really is. Dory says we enjoy you both. Thank you. Thank you. And we enjoy <laughs> y'alls, y'alls, y'alls. Uh, Riff Wraith says they are called Lakito, L-E-K-A-T-O. Yeah, L E K A T O, Lakito, or Lakato, A T O, I don't know. It's L E K A T, 
wait a minute. <laughs> L-E-K-A-T-O. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. And you can find them on Amazon for like 58 bucks. And I'm not kidding you. They're awesome. They're super, super good. I, you think you did a show about them too, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I up. use them. I use them every day. Mm -hmm. I literally use them every single day with my, uh, my um, what is that thing upstairs? The Spark. Yeah. I use them every day with the Spark. GM iron is, oops, did I, uh, I skipped one, sorry. Uh, Pete Puma says, do you use monitors with your Kemper? Uh, yeah, so like when I'm playing through my, my Kemper or any digital platform, I play through studio monitors. That's pretty much how I like it because <laughs> I can get that stereo, like that stereo separation, the ping pong delays, and I know that it's a true you know representation of the sound there's nothing really coloring it or at least coloring it so much that i'm mm -hmm. you know guessing about everything i mean down here we have the um in eight by um, cali audio that we're listening to and it sounds glorious so i take out my in-ears and i just play with the room sound with the uh, monitors and it just sounds absolutely amazing down here Chris Nash says, rolling on the floor, old biddies, drink a beer and listen to Slayer. I almost spit out my dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny, though? <laughs> you know? Oh, we're going to listen to some Sinatra. No, no, you're not. <laughs> if Sinatra was possessed by every demon in hell, maybe. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny, though? <laughs> Just to see the looks on their face. <laughs> Watch their teeth fly out. <laughs> He also said, apologies if I unintentionally hit a nerve, but you guys did have a band before, right? I remember the music video for one of your songs being part of the intro a couple years ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, we did. No no worries no at nerves. all, dude. No, you didn't hit a nerve. No, not at all. Um, yeah, we were in a band for, how long was it? Seven years? Not long enough, anyway. <laughs> in my opinion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was, it was several years, and uh, we did a lot of cool stuff. You know, and uh, unfortunately it didn't work out, but, uh, you know, I don't regret the journey because that's where it is brought me here. So I'm, I'm happy with it, you know. Uh, GM Iron says, got a new JP2C, and I remember you saying the amp is but unforgiving. You weren't kidding. Lead sounds like butter, but you got to play accurate. In just a week, this amp made me cleaner lead player, and it was an amazing amp. Yeah, it's it's a great amp, and congrats on that. I mean, the, the JP, it, in my opinion, is just forgiving enough, at least for me. And uh, uh, But I, I think the clarity that you get out of that amp is amazing, and it still has a great feel. Um, have you tried the, the tricks with it, like when you crank the tone knob? in the tone stack and then it, it pretty much eliminates the need for an overdrive pedal. I mean, there's all kinds of hidden features in that amplifier. So give that a try. Turn the bass all the way down in the tone stack, crank the treble knob and adjust the, the uh, mids to how you like them. But I mean, it basically just adds a little more gain. And then it's got the pull out gain on, on there too to add a little more. So, I mean, there's, there's some good stuff in there. And then the shred feature uh, tightens it up uh, as well. So great stuff in that amp. Axel says, it's like the scene from Back to the Future where Marty plays at the Enchantment under the sea dance yeah. where he yeah. turns on the guitar at the end of Everyone's just staring at him. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, your kids will love it. <laughs> yeah. uh, Riff says, yeah, they seem uh, like they work great. Oh, Here. good. Marvelous. Yeah. yeah, they do. They work awesome, man. I love them. I use them, like I said, every single day I use these, <laughs> and they're awesome. Well, you want to play some more? Yeah, I do. I do what do. Do it. Let me do, do three it. shots. Let's do three shots. One second. It's a good day to do three it's shots. It's a good day. It's St. Patty's Day. Yes. <laughs> so do three shots with me. Here we go. we <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice I didn't. Job. Thank you. I didn't warm up on that one tonight, so <laughs> that was a risk. But that I love playing that one. That's such a quirky song. Eight hundred time signatures in there. Peppinola. And look at him. He's like sleeping through the whole thing. Aww, he's weepy. He's had an exciting couple of days. Yes, man. I've. Yep. We've had a lot of fun together. <laughs> Good old peps, man. Chris Nash says, I'm scared to try a 5153 Stealth or JP2C, as in scared of what it would do to my finances. Mm. <laughs> That's right. Those are two amplifiers <laughs> that once you play them, you're like, uh-oh. <laughs> uh, Pete uh -oh. Puma, if you had to pick one of these, which one would it be? A Kemper, Helix, XFX, or Quad Cortex? Kemper, Helix, XFX, uh, Quad Cortex. Yeah, I'd pick the Quad. Um, I just love the fact that I can profile any one of these amps and it comes out perfect. I put in my effects and I'm done super easy and I can take those amps anywhere I want. And uh, I just, I love that so much. There's no guessing. I just think it does a great job. It does a great job. It does a great job. Uh, Chris Nash says there's all the, f the fact that my family would likely make me homeless after I render them deaf. <laughs> <laughs> you might need an yeah, outbuilding. They'd be like, uh, <laughs> you got to move out. <laughs> Take those loud boxes with you. All right. <laughs> Raxel says uh, I have the Kemper Tonex and QC, and I seem to use the QC the most. Yeah, it, it really is the most user friendly uh, unit out there. Um, you know, and I, I just love profiling with it. I <laughs> seriously, I put it right here on a table. I sit at my computer. I got my in-ears in so I can hear what the amp sounds like mic'd up with my in-ears and I just kind of, all right, yeah, that's what I want. And I hit 
capture and I adjust the levels hit capture and I'm typing while they're capturing and you know I just keep running through them like that and it's just so nice to be able to do that it really is Fox, those tones sound good tonight. I think they're the Kemper captures because the Tonex captures have more lower mids. Am I right? Um, these are Tonex captures, what you're hearing tonight. Is that what he's asking? Mm-mm. Tones sound good. I think they're Kemper captures, but they're not. They're the Tonex. Yeah, this is Tonex tonight. Mm -hmm. That's what you're hearing. Yep. Braxel says, for me, I like QC. The Tonex sounds good, but I have no effects loop. Mm -hmm. Tech Death Hippie, I've been playing Wizard Hellraiser. Need to get it on Tone Wars. <laughs> Dude, uh, anytime, anytime you want to bring that sucker over, let me know. I got a friend that has a Wizard um, Modern Classic, and uh, I've been talking to him about having it on the channel. So hopefully, I'll get be able to get that done soon. Um, but uh, yeah, anytime somebody wants to bring over a Wizard, uh, just let me know. <laughs> I would love to try <laughs> one of those. Those amps are expensive. Bill Beard says, I would tune in every Sunday just to hear you play. That is some killer guitar playing. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Very much appreciate that. Thank you so much. And feel free, because he plays every Sunday. I play every Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> and some Sundays I play horribly. What, what Was that last week or the week before? I can't remember. There was a recent week where we went live and we got done, and I'm walking upstairs. and my <laughs> What am I doing? Uh, my butt was dragging. <laughs> I could hear it hitting the steps behind me. I'm like, dude, I sounded like crap tonight. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, uh, it happens. Puma, does it play through studio monitors? Uh, what's that? The, uh, the it just says does it does it play through studio monitors? If you're referring to oh sorry, if you're referring to the uh, Tonex, yes, yeah, that's what I'm playing through right now. It's it's hooked into my board, <laughs> but I'm hooking I'm hooked up to the HX effects right now. I would highly recommend the HX effects if you get a Tonex. Just okay. get those two and you're done. I I, your and I guess uh, <laughs> to answer the question in the intro, like what would I prefer between, uh, or on the thumbnail that is, what would I prefer between the Kemper and the, and the uh, Tonex? I would prefer the Kemper player that is. I'd prefer the Tonex because I can pair it up with the HX effects and it's probably around the same-ish price. And I know the captures will come out exactly how I want them to, where the Kemper, well, you can't profile with the player at all, but I mean, if you could profile with it somehow, I just, like I said, I feel like Kemper needs to update their algorithm. Again, it does a great job on a lot of amplifiers. I just need it to do a great job about, on all the amplifiers. Daniel Gooner says, hello, I know I'm going to piss off all the boost Karens with my question, <laughs> but can you one day do a video rundown of all your boost overdrive pedals and explain the characteristics of each one? Well, that's a good question. Um, I'll see what I can do. I will see what I can do. Yeah, I think Maybe that would be... that would be the episode to kick off your boost karen t-shirts my boost karen t-shirts which are boost. yeah which are in the works uh the guy that's working on them right now he had a medical procedure done the oh. other day so he needs a few days off and then uh he's gonna finish it up <laughs> with them but uh i can't wait can't wait braxel says i have a khg amp switch with five amps hooked up to it with the fry at power station ox box and two notes captor x hell yeah man the khe is amazing i love the khe Lux says the QC is the best in class. Using right now in four cable method with my Armageddon. Sounds amazing. Full yep. rich in 3D. Yep, they sound good, man. They really do. Daniel Gunner says, can you also show us the boost pedals on video so we can see what they look like? Thanks. Oh, yes. I'll see what I can do. I got another, I have a secondary camera, so maybe I can have it pointed at them. Yep, they're all on a pedal board right here. Raxel says he's honestly very surprised you don't have a power station. It hooks up real nice with a KHE switcher for all your cabs and Oxbox and two notes. It's one of the things that if I have some extra money laying around, I would consider getting one. But right now, I don't have any extra money laying around. <laughs> I bought so much stuff for this channel. I got to, yeah, I'm in the red. I want to get in the black and then maybe I can do that. But I've heard good things about that thing. So one of these days, mm -hmm. absolutely. Flex said, awesome playing. 
Thank you. Hyperbole Kid says, that Skeeter can play mean and fast. Them toxic Facebook haters ain't our pimple on your arse. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thank Puma, you, sir. Great playing, sir. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's see. Z's guitar account. All right there, Mr. Malmstein. We get it. You can shred. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could play as good as Malmstein. That guy's a freak, man. Yeah, that guy's awesome. I love Malmstein. My favorite Oops. album with them was with Joe Lynn Turner. I think it was called Odyssey. Man, what a great production. The whole album was amazing. Loved it. Loved it, loved it. Braxa says the QC now has the computer amp, so the QC can be further away from me. Oh, nice. Pete Puma, one more question. Does the QC do high gain sound well? Oh, yeah, it does them perfect. I love uh, my QC captures. They turn out freaking amazing every time. They really do. I'm super happy with them. In fact, if you want to hear those, go to, I think I used it last week, didn't I? The what? The QC, the Quad Cortex. I think no, I played no, it last no. week. So go look at last week's, last Sunday's show, and I used the Quad Cortex last week, and it sounded killer. Uh, Z's guitar account, we are in Michigan. He wondered what state we're in. Oh, yep, we are in Michigan. Mm -hmm. Yep, a Rooney. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Flux, Jared, you never sound like crap. <laughs> you need to plug into a defibrillator to sound like crap, and you'd probably make that sound good, too. <laughs> no, well, you're too kind, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Chris says, Jared, you know that if you ever get a signature boost pedal, it will have to be called the Karen, right? The Karen. <laughs> Dude, that would be funny. I would love to do a signature boost and call it the Karen. <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh, Jim Simmons, Jared, I have an older Boss GT3 guitar floorboard. I do not use much, but wondering how the Tonex would sound with it. Ah, uh, it'd probably sound good because Boss effects are really good. It, it it pairs up really well with effects units easily too. Just out to the in and into the out, done. You know, and then you use the the outs of the effects board that you're using. So I'm I'm hooked up from the HX effects to the mixer tonight. That's how I have it hooked up. Yep. J Dub says, Miss Carrie, thank you for all you do too. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> she does a lot of reading. <laughs> Just a lot of reading. Lots of reading. It's it's a lot of work. I get all the fun jobs. Well, I shouldn't say that because setting this up is not fun. <laughs> You know, well, Z's, a car, Z's guitar account says love the older Malmsteen albums as oh, well. They're they're so good. His production value, as of late, has been terrible. Like, I he needs to hire an outside engineer to come in and and mix that <laughs> because the last few albums he put out, I'm like, dude, your guitars are just buried in the mix. Like, are you listening at all? Like, I think he's too he's too close to it. You shouldn't mix your own music. You really shouldn't. You got to hire somebody outside. You know, I mean, his mixes are awful now. His guitar sounds like crap on his later albums. But his older ones sound amazing, you oh. know. I don't know Monkey what he's doing. Monkey uh, wants to know uh, how many pads you have stacked up on your chair. <laughs> oh, he's got one. Just one. <laughs> have you guys heard of the purple mattresses? <laughs> they make, like, pads that you can sit on. Chair, yeah. I don't even know what those are called, but it's... It's a, it's a chair pad. Yeah. It's a butt pad. Yep, butt yep. pad. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're super comfortable. They I've never slept better yep. than with this new. Well, it's not new anymore. A couple yeah. years ago it was new, but yeah, I got a purple mattress as well, and man, I freaking love that yeah, mattress. So it's probably his chair pad is probably that thick. Yeah. I mean, it's squished about, now. Yeah, it's about two inches thick. Yeah. Now. Yeah. No, yeah. it's back here. It's two inches, about two inches thick. Um, but they're nice. They're really nice. Maybe three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, because I'm super short. I'm only 5'11", so I need to... You're not short. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I need, it, I need it to appear tall. Yeah. Brooks uh, says, Jared, thanks for creating the QC Mr. Scary Badlander pack. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for picking it up, man. Yeah, I think they came out great, man. That amp is it just slays now, and uh, I was happy to share that with you guys because, wow, what a difference. And I even compared the new QC profiles of that amplifier as, you know, as it is modded against the um, unmodded version of uh the amp when i profiled it and it just the new ones blow it away i mean it's not even a contest man it's amazing wow let's see jim coleman what's up 
What's Sorry, up? Sorry, I was late. I was building a soundproof wall. Hey, that's a pretty good excuse, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's a darn good excuse there, mister. Let's see. Braxel says Pete Thorne is going to have a new signature guitar soon with Sewer. I hope soon so I can get it. I have not bought a new guitar since 2020. I am due. Oh. The guitar is dark charcoal with a Floyd with a drop D tuning system. Nice. Dude, He he's such a great player. He really is, man. That guy's an amazing player. Oh, Just want to make see. sure I'm not hooked up to your thing there. Tyler James says, don't forget to bring that Tone Wars merch into reality. I would wear the fudge out of a Tone Wars shirt, and I know I'm not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, man, I appreciate that. As soon as the the boost, the what is that called? The boost, boost Karen? Karen. <laughs> as soon as that shirt is available, <laughs> trust me, that thing will be... You okay? Up and ready to be sold. Are you okay? Fo show. Yeah, put the head down. Yeah, but he's, he's being, being so good. He's being super good, man. Yeah. Wonder what he did wrong. I think he's making up for something. Oh, did you poopy upstairs? He probably did. Did you go poopy upstairs? <laughs> I pooped it right yeah, in the middle yeah. of the living room. Yeah. <laughs> he he really uh -huh. is the best dog. He's amazing. He is super sweetheart. super right. awesome dog. Yeah. Yep. He's like a cartoon character, though, when he gets we'll all get, We'll up. get you with those yeah. eyes. <laughs> Aww. He is. He's the best dog, man. <laughs> he's a total sweetheart. Let's see. Where did I leave off? Deftoned. If I get a 100 watt 5153 stealth, would it be worth also getting the 50 watt for the portability? No. No, save your money. Um, I, I think the, the 100 watt's amazing. If you're going to get something that's portable, get a QC or a Tonex and capture it and take that with you. That's what I would recommend, you know, because the Quad Cortex, I'm trying to remember how much it is compared to a 50-watt Stealth, but compare the prices, and I'd say just get one of those and capture it. and uh, Or you can reach out to me, and I'll capture it for you and <laughs> send you the captures. I mean, seriously, that's what I would do. That's the best way to take an amp with you is with a digital platform now. We got a bunch of people saying me too on the Tone Wars t-shirts. Oh, cool. Me too, yeah. Me too. Trust me, man. As soon as uh, as soon as Jeremy feels uh, better, it's going to be a few days, uh, we're going to get together and finalize the uh, Boost Karen t-shirt. And I think it's going to be funny. <laughs> Jay Croft is with us. He said Jay. he's just getting back from Cincinnati. What's happening, man? He's out there freezing his butt off today watching his kid play soccer, man. It's been cold. <laughs> Christopher says... Short. Sure, try being a five foot four adult male. I have to play guitar sitting down just so it doesn't hit my knees <laughs> while <laughs> hanging from the strap. <laughs> Hi, Christopher. What's going on, man? That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You and me, we're about the same height. I, I got you by an inch. I'm five five, <laughs> but I'll just not wear shoes. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, what are you having for dinner, by the way? Jared's smoker broke, so yeah. we haven't been having... I yep. mean, I have, I have mine, but yeah. his smoker has broken. It'll be fixed tomorrow. And awesomeness in a minute. Yep, it'll be fixed tomorrow. Yep, I can't wait. I <laughs> okay. did do some uh, corned beef brisket and potatoes, carrots, cabbage in the crock oh. pot, though. <laughs> yeah, I got to... I'm going to cook some. I smoked the brisket first, the corned beef. I smoked it. And then this morning, I put, like, the potatoes on the bottom, then the carrots, and then the onions and cabbage, and then I put oh. the brisket on top so that it wasn't sitting in the juice. It was just getting the steam. And, that sounds good. Oh, oh, it worked out so well. Yeah, you should have brought it over. <laughs> that would have been nice. <laughs> I brought over the sauerkraut, didn't I? Oh, thanks. <laughs> brought over the wrapper. Oh, hush. <laughs> Jay says, a uh, cold but rewarding weekend of youth soccer. Yeah, yeah. it looks like your son did really well. The, their team so won. Sorry. Congrats, man. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. Flex says, make sure you get a 3XL for fatties like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made that mistake with uh, my first run of t-shirts several years ago. Mm -hmm. I made some and I ordered smalls, mediums, larges, and extra larges, and everyone's like, dude, you got double XL? I'm like, no, they're mm -hmm. like, that. everybody, else, I'm like, why did I get all these sizes? And we sat on these sizes forever. I'm just going to get, okay. well, I'm going to so, get yeah. XL, XXL, and triple XL, and that's it. I mean, I'm probably just going to do the Teespring thing, so you can order whatever yeah. size you want, you know? 
Yeah. <sighs> Dean Harkness. Uh, let's see. Nope, Braxel, you're not fat. Okay. <laughs> Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Coleman says, I'm loving the new Facebook group. John started anybody in there? Oh, I am definitely in there. I'm sure there's some people here that are. John's a great a guy. Minutes, he started a good group. He really did. I was, I was, uh, it was cool of him to reach out to me. He's like, hey, man, I'm starting this new group. Uh, would you like to be a moderator? I'm like, hell yeah, I would love to do that. So, yeah, he's a nice guy, really nice guy. Really good player, too, man. That guy's got a, a really nice collection of amps, and his demos are amazing. Yeah. Well, it's 829. Do you want to play again, or do you want to just... Yeah, let me do one more. Braxel, I... you're fine. You're not offending me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, let me do one more, and then we'll uh, say goodnight. Sounds give me, good. Give me one second here.
<laughs> well, that was fun tonight. Nice. That was fun. These Good job. these captures. I'm, I know I'm sound like I'm patting myself on the back, but they're so yeah. inspiring to well, play. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> they are. They're so inspiring <laughs> to play. They're so easy to play too. I mean, there's lots of gain and fullness and. Yeah, I'm loving these a lot, man. These Christopher, are fun. thank you for the super chat. Thank you, sir. Appreciate super that. Gotcha. He sent a, you know, the, the horns. horns in it, and then below he says they really need to make that sticker with a man's hand. I don't wear my nails like that. <laughs> he says I did once, but I was young and needed the money. <laughs> it's got nail polish and stuff. <laughs> Thanks for the horns. <laughs> the fancy horns. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. His dinner tonight is a week's <laughs> worth of calories. Bacon wrapped meatloaf. That sounds amazing. Dude, that so I'm so hungry right now. That sounds really good. Fucking smoke it. Oh, I'd eat bacon wrapped roadkill right now. I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's see. Pizza, thanks for helping him out with the QC question, everybody. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's Braxel, the world is so much better when there's no BS. We're all here together. Why ruin it? That's right, man. Thank you. That's how it goes, man. That's how we do. Uh, let's see. Flux, the new Facebook group is basically wake up to awesome pics of members, killer rigs, collections every day. I love it. It's yeah. inspiring and always positive. No negativity. I love the fact that it's not negative, man. That's really good. I love that. Uh, Jim Coleman, hey Jared, have you thought about trying the Mr. Scary mod and any other amps? Oh yeah, I'm doing a series on that. I'm working with David. Uh, I'm going to contact him, and he uh, he had to replenish his stock because people were buying the hell out of him. So he's going to uh, hopefully send me a few, and we're going to do some mods. A friend of mine, Matt, over at Motor City Guitar, he's got a 2204, I think. I think that's what he has, and he's got one of the mods in it. So he's like, yeah, we'll work something out with that. So. Well, I'll, be, I'll definitely be doing some uh, some videos on, on that. I, that mod is legit as hell. It makes a huge difference. So if you have an amplifier that just doesn't have enough whatever for you, reach out to them and see if one of their mods will help you out. If it works with your amp, I guarantee you it will make a world of a difference on your amplifier. Okay. Well. So do it. He needs to eat. Yeah, I'm starving. I am <laughs> seriously. I'm I'm about to get the shakes. Yeah. So, uh, well, guys, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Yeah. And, and thank you, Peppy, for yeah. being such a good boy. Thanks for joining us too. <laughs> little dum dum. He's such a good dog. Oh, he's a little dum dum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks for joining us tonight and hanging out with us. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Thanks for all the kind words, <laughs> and thanks to everybody who's been purchasing the profile and preset pack. Seriously. That really helps me out big time. It means the world uh, to me. It really does. I mean, and that helps me out. Exactly. She got a cigar today because of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we really appreciate that very much. Um, so uh, again, thank you so much, and I will work on some new videos for you this week. And uh, <laughs> hope you guys all have a great night. And like I always say, every day is a gift. And thanks for choosing to spend part of your gift with us. <laughs> have a great week. We'll see you next Sunday. Love you all. Have a shot of uh, whatever you want for celebration. <laughs> I know I'm gonna. <laughs>